This was an announcement they hoped to make two years ago, that the KC-46 tanker, Boeing's sophisticated new aerial refueling jet, is ready for delivery. The milestone comes after years of delays, cost overruns, and technical difficulties for the KC-46, which frustrated Air Force commanders. Boeing is fully committed. Boeing invited journalists to Payne Field last year amid uncertainty about when the tanker would be ready. We have continued to put the full focus and energy of the entire company on this program, and I think it's a testimony to how the Boeing company is committed to making sure the Air Force gets the great capability that they so rightly deserve. The KC-46 was one of the biggest defense contracts in modern history and ensured years of work at Payne Field in Everett. The Air Force wants 179 of these and other countries are interested. But the excitement did not last long. Boeing ran into delays after it discovered problems with a new aerial refueling system. The company is still working on those problems and has to eat the extra costs. Quote, we have identified and Boeing has agreed to fix at its expense deficiencies discovered in developmental testing of the remote vision system, the Air Force said in a statement Thursday. The KC-46 is much more sophisticated than the tanker it replaces and can refuel two planes at once. It can also carry cargo, passengers, and wounded. It resists chemical and biological attacks, and it's packed with technology. At Payne Field, KC-46s are lined up in various stages of assembly, and you can often see them circling Seattle during flight testing. If all goes as planned, Boeing could hand the first aircraft over to the Air Force before the end of the month. Ted Land, King 5 News.